Hello, folks. Welcome again. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, last couple of weeks, not able to do my video, but uh, I apologize for it. And but starting uh, again, uh, back to uh, the market analysis for week nine thirteen to nine seventeen. Uh, bearish week. Expecting Monday up, and then we start going down. <clears throat> Uh, anything can happen. Do your own due diligence. Not a financial advice. I have no uh, degree for you know financial advisor uh, becoming a financial advisor. So take care. Uh, you know, have a plan and work on your plan. Uh, if works, great. If not, then you know, see what you need to uh, tweak in that plan. Now looking at it, how does it look? Starting with spy. Let's see. So a lot of thing I'm going to uh, remove from here right now. Also, okay. So now you should have a cleaner look on it. And let's see what we have got here. So the market has given first sign of any kind of bearishness, long, long uptrend, what you can see, and it's still continuing. Are we done with the uptrend? Uh, not necessarily market is bearish, no. But what we can gauze from this one right now. So that's your long-term trend line. So this will be your good uh, hold opportunity. So this will come here, might bounce a little bit, but might may not have power this time to hold this particular trend. Uh, because one of the trend, initial trend, what you can see is already broken. So does it mean uh, it's going straight down? No, we should bounce around 448.80 is your target. Uh, make it could go up to 449.70. That'll be the final target. So mark uh, those numbers uh, if you're kind of going to play on the upside. That should be very very critical. What it is doing, if you see more clearly, it's making you know that's your left shoulder, that's your head. So it's going to form a right shoulder here, and then we can see going down so that's the that's the thought on the spy where the spy is going to go we might see spy by 20th september around 435 area or even lower which can something like you know extend this line and it can come back and test it which is 433 area get ready for 433 uh by friday this week if not and market turns bullish, we will see this head and shoulder does not work and we start moonshot from here. So 449.50 uh, kind of, you know, ultimate uh, resistance point for the SPY. That's all on the SPY. And if you see, uh, this is your line in the sand for the downside. Uh, let's go back to the Qs. Qs is still looking better than the SPY. If you look at the chart, so we have just formed the head and we didn't go even below the head right now. So you can say uh, it will bounce around 380.5. 380, Next support is around 376, then 373. And 373 should give you a bounce back to 360 by uh, around uh, following week, not this week. Oh, it could do even this week, I'm not sure, but my target is 373 for the week and maybe 360 for the following week. <clears throat> IWM, which is, you can say sort of bullish, we are holding a uh, four hour 50 MA line right now. So it can go here, pull back and start, you know, climbing. So around three, uh, 232 area, which you should be able to see on the IWM. Uh, now also you can draw a trend line for this one, which is, uh, I'm gonna give you more proper line and 
So this is what you have, you're going to watch out on the IWM break on this line. We are going down on the IWM as well. Uh, next one, Apple. Uh, you see this trend line, so you might see a bounce up to up to up to that will be the max bounce. Will it go there? I don't know, but 153, 40. Uh, 50 area drop to 144 and then final drop we are kind of targeting around 139 on the apple uh, by 24th of september microsoft is another name <clears throat> which this week we should see uh, let me get rid of my comments because it's in the bear zone that's kind of analyzed from a few weeks ago and we are here now let's see what it can do from here uh, you can see a tactical bounce to 300 area come back down to around 280 to 282 and then you will see another bounce around 289 and that will be your ultimate target by 20, uh, 30th September around 275. So that's your final target that will also extend this uh, 200 MA on the four hour, something around this area. So that should be your uh, final target on Microsoft. <clears throat> Amazon beautiful beautiful resistance here created that's a head you can say that's a shoulder that's formed very nicely now expect uh amazon to go to 3340 uh by uh, 27th of september so that's a uh, amazon target not much to talk about uh in amazon uh so far it has been bullish uh and has been playing great but uh, let's do one quick check on it and where it's going to stop so it's going to touch this particular line at some point uh you know within the next two two and a half weeks next one cost has a long long run First time it looks bearish a little bit. Um, it has been kind of topping here and thought it's a bearish here, but no, it failed and came back over again. Now, you know, anything underneath 462 uh, area or uh, 463 area, we are going to see a dip and then bounce back up to test 463 and drop. And the final target will be about 439, 440 area by again uh, the following Friday, not the coming Friday. So that's your cost. Uh, now I'm going to get into some smaller names, uh, PLTR, which looks super bullish, means anything over this particular line, you can expect a huge run next two to three weeks. You will see around 30 area on the PLTR, uh, almost like a given opportunity. So, and any other name, if you want to analyze, let me know and we'll uh, look into it and uh, uh, we'll review it. Uh, put your uh, comments in the comment section and uh, I will uh, respond back as soon as I can. Thank you and have a wonderful day.